You found what you look for. Okay, let's do this. K.O. the Kangaroo isn't the biggest household name when it comes to platformers. Falling into obscurity following his original trilogy, Tate Multimedia's mascot is back with a surprise reboot, taking us to the very Australian land of Hopaloo Island. Going hands-on with a recent preview build, it's pretty easily compared to rivals like Crash Bandicoot, but so far, KO's back in fighting form. KO's journey kicks off with a familiar premise, rescuing family members who disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Both his sister and father are missing, while an unknown foe called the Eternal Warriors begun corrupting the world with a dark power. Worlds serve as hubs filled with collectibles, and you'll unlock new levels once you've found enough runes. Unsurprisingly, KO's investigation isn't welcomed by this Eternal Warrior, but he's not alone. Assisting him is his father's old punching gloves, both imbued with a strange power. Giving KO enhanced abilities beyond your standard jabs and combos, he can strike deadly finishing blows once his attack gauge is charged, filled by hitting enemies in quick succession. Better still, these gloves can store three elemental charges at once, used to clear objects like wooden logs, burning them down with a simple hit. Otherwise, more defensive players can throw objects from range or use his dodge roll, which doubles up as an attack. <laughs> KO's got moves, and the game's packing a considerable range of enemies, keeping battles interesting. Boss fights throw a few new tricks at you, like Terror's attack leaving a trail of fire behind him, but otherwise it all felt rather easy, and there's no difficulty settings either. You can't just stand there wailing on enemies, though that dodge roll is a lifesaver against groups, but don't expect much of a challenge. Still, if all you're after is a straightforward platformer, KO's proving to be a solid choice. Gameplay is fun, there's a lighthearted story with a good sense of humor, and a colorful presentation that's visually appealing. It could do with less outdated pop culture references, though. Jokes like, taking an arrow to the knee, or it's clobberin' time, will likely fly over most kids' heads, but at least that's infrequent. Platforming was what sold KO for me, going beyond the basics after the first world. Climbing across vines using KO's ears is silly fun. You can channel your inner Spider-Man by swinging across floating hooks with a grapple ability, while those elemental abilities are creatively used. <laughs> Levels are packed with hidden secrets, too, encouraging you to explore. If you compulsively check behind waterfalls in games, good news! Most levels hide rewards like extra lives, heart pieces, or treasure chests packed with coins, and you can use the latter to buy the other two in each hub world's shop. You can also customize K.O.'s appearance with new clothes, giving him a few new looks that also includes a retro-inspired outfit, offering a nice throwback to the original trilogy. Just be warned, K.O.'s most certainly a collectathon. Similar to Donkey Kong Country, every level contains three hidden letters that spell K.O. found through thorough exploration, which can easily be missed. Diamonds are scattered about too, while scrolls offer new lore for the Kopedia. I can see it's meant to incentivize replaying levels, but scrolls aside, these items don't offer any practical reward beyond completionist bragging rights. Only runes are essential, so if the thought of another collecting marathon worries you, Fear not, everything else is optional. Despite this lack of challenge, K.O. the Kangaroo is shaping up to be a promising 3D platformer later this year. Powerful boxing gloves excluded, it doesn't rely on weird gimmicks to stand out, yet despite cruising through combat, it never got boring. What we've got is a refreshingly straightforward platformer which scratches a nostalgic itch, one that makes no secret of its influences and pays fitting tribute to them. For more on K.O. the Kangaroo, check out the official announcement trailer from earlier this year, and for all of your other favorite platforming games, hop on over to IGN.